Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Four Harms. My name is Captain Richie and we're here once again on the Vintage Craft server. Hope everybody is doing well today. Uh, I've done a bit of mining off camera <laughs> as the uh, the meme goes, but uh, I didn't get any resources or anything. More like um, tidying up, excavating. Like uh, there used to be like a little corridor here, but we've uh, we've widened it because uh, we're going to make it a little bit a bit pretty. Get rid of these torches because I don't like them. Um, probably going to put some uh, what's it called sea lanterns around somewhere. Um, so up on the walls and uh let's die right there i'll get to that in a second <laughs> uh, but yeah just basically look a bit cleaner because uh it needs it down here that's what and it did you know it had only had like a a one wide tunnel going down the stairs here but it needs um it needs tidying up uh, and through here um it's, it's the ice bit i've done this um a little bit as you can see putting these nice uh soul fire lanterns I think that's what they're called uh, they don't give us much light which is ideal for the for the ice, it could literally by, by, be right next to it and it's not going to make any difference. Um, but that does mean that we have to use like stairs and hard slabs in all the blocks around. Which is okay because it makes it look a little bit more cavey. Um, but yes, yeah, now straight along with this, so that's a bit more, you know, puts my <laughs> my mind at rest because uh, I quite like it. You know, um, how do we say? When things line up better, I, I think I prefer that. Uh, down there is our strip mine, which we don't really need anymore, I guess. So we're going to probably cover that up. Make it a bit more cavey. Uh, through here, as you probably know, it goes down to that beacon down the bottom. And upstairs here is uh, that diorite I pointed out. And that's because I've done um, this hallway here. This goes up to the, uh, the Knights building. And yeah, it's all sort of stone. So I made it look a bit pretty. I put in some lanterns. And this is the guard tower. Started doing the floor, but I do want to get carried away because um, that's that's what happens with me. I uh, get carried away doing stuff on camera, uh, off camera rather, and it's more a case of look. This is what I've I've done, <laughs> but there we are. Uh, yeah, so today I want to work on the uh, the I think it's the maiden's tower, the woman's woman's building. I'm not too sure what they called it. Um, but uh, upstairs here, so we did it at the same time we built the ice uh, farming to begin with. Um, this is the uh, the, the honey bit as, as you were and, and upstairs we've got the actual building itself um, so what I need to do is go and get some um, let's get some walls up in here uh, fill in some windows I think this one's all good for windows yeah it is uh, change out the floor I think we're going to do um, this throughout because it I think it works we've put some more chickens in we've literally emptied well it was empty Filled it full of chickens just so we got some more food. Um, but yeah, think about keeping this floor all the same and just putting the strip dark coat along in here. So that is the plan. We're going to work on this one today, and as uh, as before, we're going to sort of change out the block palette as we go. Um, I've done a little bit already for the bits that are sort of out of sight on the outside of the building here. Oh, there's some baggers. Very nice. Who's down there? More bad guys. Uh, we're slowly getting it a bit more um, mob free around here. So this is all double layered now. Uh, so there shouldn't be anything spawn on this bit. Um, so they are sort of gradually working their way down the mountain. Which is good because it means our farm's a bit more efficient. Well I say our farms. Our farm singular. Uh, the the gunpowder farm which we don't. I guess we don't really need now. Um, it's good for the rockets. It is good for the rockets. But I can't remember the last time I actually filled up from it. Oh uh, yeah, so a little bit of work in here. Oh, there was one thing downstairs. Um, I put this here because villagers are idiots. And uh, <laughs> they end up everywhere. Um, it was just downstairs through into the sorting system, actually. Um, so I find that if I fly away, like chunks get unloaded. I think I might have mentioned this before. Um, and as you can see, we're sort of built halfway between chunks. So sometimes um, items get stuck in these droppers. Say for instance, there's like two in here, like one might ping up, but the other one stays in there, which means the whole system sort of breaks down. So I put these lanterns in, uh, so I can sort of visually come back and go, well, this is, if there's a lantern on, that means there's a, an item stuck. And then it should sort of carry on from then out. So that rocket should probably work its, its way around the system. Yeah, it's gone into that one, it's gonna go up. And uh, I don't think it's got anywhere to go, so hopefully it's gonna end up in this chest at the end, eventually. Uh, but yeah, I need to get rid of all these torches. I'm thinking um, of putting some sort of pillars in between the gaps of these. Um, 
and maybe glass so we can see in there but you know nothing can go in there we can't go in there unless we have to just so it's a bit safer um i think i might have to move these stairs back a little bit as well but i think somewhere above here oh, maybe it's further back than i thought oh there it is um that is the input chest for um the sorting system well it's 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 a chest that comes off from uh the shulker box unloaded at the top here itself like behind there somewhere so yeah a little bit of work to do um i'm gonna do those the cam the sort of the caverns off camera probably and we'll get to work on the the maidens bit together actually <laughs> so with all the block um excavation i've also done a bit of block placing if you might remember it's only like a little minor thing but there was somewhat of a massive cave uh down here uh through through there it's now all filled in so you know it's not full of torches and looks horrible um less place for mobs to spawn which is always good and yeah there's, it's a bit cavey down here as well and of course this goes got some nice use for chains there this goes all the way out to um this little cross section i think i showed that before that goes downstairs and of course this goes outside uh but yeah anyway <laughs> enough prattling on bit of work to do and uh we'll come back when uh i guess that work's done and we're ready to do some more on this building here it's uh not looking too bad it's uh turned out all right i think i do like the color theme and uh there seems to be a lantern over there i'll sort that out in a bit uh it's probably trying to sort something. i did actually just dump some stuff off so it's probably just sorting that out uh yeah so i done a little bit of work on the uh the ladies building here um which will show you when I get up these windy stairs. Look how long these are. Uh, yeah, put these uh, gates in because uh, the villagers um, like to jump through them. And they're down the bottom and the top. So, yeah. Um, we've got some white concrete mixed in. And uh, all the windows sorted out. Here's one room. And, uh, yeah, some more concrete. And, um, yeah, just need to sort out the lighting, really. So, every every part of the building is done apart from, uh, yeah, actual decoration. So, there's a lectern. Um, there's a villager somewhere who does lectern stuff uh cartography tables um actually one thing i did point out um i sorted out the doors as you remember, remember they kept getting stuck in the snow here so um i put in uh open doors with the, the spruce trap doors um this idiot here seems to be caught behind one and is this our guy uh north three no we had a we had a sweeping edge guy somewhere uh anyway um but yeah, um, we've opened up for a few more doors. So there's one here that looks like it's open as well, just so they don't get stuck on the snow because, you know, they got big heads. So <laughs> they can't get through the gaps if there is one there. That is one of ones we have over them. Uh, but yeah, it looks okay. Uh, I kind of like uh, enjoy... Kind of like enjoy? Uh, I kind of like having the, the doors from the outside uh, be open. But yeah, the ladies' building is finished. As you can see there, it's... Uh, pretty much just these decorations inside so that floor is done uh we changed the floor as well as you probably saw for the uh the dark oak this one's like again needs some paintings or something this goes uh, outside i think little uh balcony bit there um more room to fill up probably furniture um some beds there and uh yeah so there's another set of trap door not trap doors uh fence gates upstairs somewhere um but i've been i've been wondering about this view that we got or lack of view, should we say. Um, we do have a an ocean here. So there's not really much to look at. And it's, it's beyond the ocean is the border. There's our guy. Fortune free. Uh, oh yeah, I traded him to get some bookshelves, didn't I? Much easier than killing cows and growing paper. Uh, yeah, so our view outside of this, uh, this building here is a bit rubbish. Um, so I was flying around sort of checking it out. And like checking out all the... Um, how the concrete looks and stuff and how it looks and yeah here's the border but um i kind of feel like it needs some trees <laughs> i look some uh looks some pictures up of neuschen's kind castle and uh it's filled with spruce but these little ones they're not going to cut it so i'm thinking that i need to put in some custom trees anything in our trap nothing in our trap yet cool um yeah think about putting some custom trees in here and i think i looked at what was his name uh mythical sausage <laughs> and uh, he recommends like for his big trees a sort of tutorial i'll try to link it down downstairs down in the description if i can 
Uh, but we're going to build up. It said between 31 and 33 blocks for the tallest one. So we're going to go with a nice even 32. It's half a stack. It's a, a good frame of reference. And yeah, so we're going to build up really tall and see how that looks. It is... Uh, okay, it's going to be in the line of sight, I think. What are you doing over there? Um, yeah, and I think uh, we need to build up... Uh, I think it's... To make the trunk really fat, it's six or five or six-ish. Uh, and then you've got to fill in the corners. This is a bit of a silly place to start, actually, because we're, like, right on the edge of a, a cliff. Yeah, so, like, we're going to have some roots hanging out beneath. Uh, I think roots, aren't they coming in 117? There's a lot coming in 117 that I haven't actually played with um, because I kind of want to... This is the wrong place. I kind of wanted to finish off... Um, like this castle first before getting into it um i think i mentioned it before we're currently i, well, I say we i'm not involved uh princess craft season three and a half has started but um you know i tried joining another server beforehand anyway and i can't leave a, a project unfinished um i'm not too sure i mean i'm, I'm sure i have i have before in uh, in the past uh but with this one like, i'm really enjoying this castle so i kind of like you know for a sucker there for a personal um, achievement, I just want to get it finished. Oh yeah, so uh, three blocks above the trunk, uh, we sort of branch out. Well, I guess branch out is the, no pun intended, word. Uh, yeah, we're going to do, what, five blocks in total? And that is literally right against the uh, the wall here. But um, yeah, I'm going to build it off, off camera and we'll come back to it and see what it looks like. Uh, not gonna lie, it doesn't look great. Uh, I think the branches might be a little bit too, too spaced apart. Um, but down there, yeah, it looks it looks good. Um, it's quite flared, I think the word is, <laughs> quite flared out and very spruce piney. Um, I've never really, well, I've never made a custom tree before. Um, never used um the fences with the blocks before. Uh, I've, no, I've seen a few people who made custom trees and I know it does work, but I've never never got myself around to do it. So this is a little challenge um, to help fill it out a little bit. So yeah, what we need to do is get loads and loads of leaves. Uh, I've got some shears in my pocket. We're gonna cut all these up and gonna put in that around the tree. Um, if it does work, then it's quite a bit of land to fill in. So we've got a bit of a gap here. Might fill in this little island there. Um, just to get some tree life in. Uh, fortunately, we got a bit of a low, an ocean, so we don't have to fill it in too much. But I want something there because, I mean, my, my <laughs> look how straight my man-made um, mountain is. It's rubbish. It, need, it needs sorting out. So hopefully the trees will um, will help to hide it. I think that could work. I mean, if you if, <laughs> the thing with Minecraft is if, if you don't like something, you go back in and change it. So that's not too bad. Oh, actually, when I was working on that... Um, just saw him out of the corner of my eye. This guy here. Uh, trapped in the boat. And, uh, yeah, we'll deal with you at some point. Do I need to name him to keep him there? Or is he okay just in a boat? I think he'll be all right, Ronnie. We'll see. Um, I don't think it's going to be a major issue if uh, there's anyone else around. So, yeah, let's cut um, some of this spruce down and fill in that tree. You know what? I think I like it. <laughs> That's a good and a bad thing, though. Uh, it's good because um, I think it's aesthetically pleasing and it's going to fit in with the, the whole mountain side here. Uh, but bad because it means I'm going to spend time making some. Which um, we'll do in a minute. Um, I need to collect some more wood and some more spruce leaves. In fact, I um, I made a few... What's it called? Um, shears. But uh, I think this is going to be easier to do. This isn't silk touch got fortune on it what am i trying to get fortune with i guess it was for the um what's it called bye 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 ho. uh the um i just don't know what it is is it for the warp stuff don't know uh but yeah i need to do a bit more harvesting in fact i might go to the shopping district and just just buy it instead because uh yeah, we've got all these diamonds and that's what it's for, right? For, for spending. Anyway, uh, before we move on to doing all that, um, there was something I noticed the other day um, when I was in the kitchen. There's too many cats in this damn castle. Um, 
So the chicken cooker, full of eggs, even though it's like one hopper out of the nine that fills them all up. Um, we have got a fair amount of chicken, actually. I fancy a bit of chicken, so we're going to have that. Um, we're getting a lot of eggs, and we're also getting a lot of... You just pushed me onto the carrot. What a guy. Um, we're not actually getting a lot of them. Um, we've got a sugarcane farm up in here. That's my face. And uh, we use this mainly for paper for the rockets. Obviously, with the gunpowder farm, as you might have heard, the creeper come down. Um, yeah, so what I'm thinking, um, we'll do a quick one here. One of these, one of them. And one of these. It's a very, very, very quick um, pumpkin farm. And then we can use the sugar, the eggs, and the pumpkins to make uh, pumpkin pie. And I think what we can do is this. Uh, is it like this? I think it's like this. I have to get behind it to actually use it though. Um, look at that, aren't we? Why did it go over there? In what? <laughs> Anywho, um, I'm gonna eat bones on me, so I can't test it out. Uh, but essentially, um, that goes behind there, and I think we need some dust here and here. Uh, so when that grows, uh. The shape of it, shape of the stem. Can you not even find the block there? Is yeah, uh, it updates. And uh, you know, if there's a pumpkin on one of the two sides, then the detector, the detector, the observer sees the change in the 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 stem and knows that it's put down a pumpkin there or there, and it fires off both pistons. And we collect pumpkins. Um, so I'm probably going to do that because well, pumpkins are good for trading and it's also good for um, for food. We like free food. Um, so I'm thinking of putting it in the, the tower. Not the tower. The um, the ladies building that we just finished off. It's, we could put it in one of the rooms or maybe even the roof. Or maybe we could put it here so it's right next to this. It's in our sort of farmy area. Um, what do you reckon? Maybe in there? Don't know. Um, but actually, it should probably be in that over there because then we've got a place to put in um, more sugarcane. Not sugarcane doesn't seem to grow that much because we're not there that much. Um, where am I going? I think it's here. Yeah. Uh, there's space to put stuff in here. It's what I was thinking about putting like. Maybe pumpkins one side and melon the other. It's a bit of room in here. I kind of wanted to utilize this, utilize this little room, um, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do um, farm somewhere, and I'm also gonna sort out some trees. So um, I need a lot of time. I don't think I've got time to do that right now in real life. Um, I'm going to need a couple of hours to finish that off. But we'll see how we get on.
two hours later. <laughs> well, actually, um, a lot longer than two hours. Um, and a lot of leaves. Um, I looked at my stats, it was 5,000 leaves. Um, <laughs> considering there's, what, 15, 20 trees here? That's a lot of leaves. Um, so yeah, it took a long time to stop just grow them as well. I actually went to the shopping district to buy loads of leaves and I think I bought all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so looking forward to when it snows so the, the uh, trees can be lovely and snow capped and that will complete our look. Um, you probably noticed as well at the very end of the time lapse, um, it was a less than a minute ago, so you should have done. <laughs> we worked on the, the wall and I'm quite liking the palette I've used. Um, it is diorite, the polished diorite and the cobblestone just to, you know, give that difference uh, if having a plain wall it was never the plan as you can see here this looks horrible um so it just helps break up a little bit might need another block or two i'm not entirely sure uh let me know if you have any ideas uh but yeah we've done it here and we've done it all along the wall there behind here all along there and we did it by the beads as well um so any sort of man-made wall would look man-made rather than just be like mountainside there is quite a lot to do on the mountain still uh, and I've got a few ideas, but we'll have to leave that for another time. Look, look how square it looks. <laughs> um, yeah, I also put in uh, that little pumpkin farm. I managed to squeeze it on the top here. If we can land without dying. Uh, it is in here. So uh, we've actually got shoe cane as well. So uh, yeah. So that design I made earlier, well, I copied it from someone. Uh, we've got them here, so we've got six spaces for pumpkins to grow and like four places for sugarcane and once like, any of the observers detect anything pistons fire friends go into this middle uh hopper they work out in there anyway uh, and that goes to downstairs which just cover that up uh it's just a chest at the moment downstairs uh, i think i might change it for a barrel or maybe even a shulker box i'm not too sure let's see what the guys are up to in there did you did you enjoy the uh the view now yeah i saw you jumping around enjoying it yeah? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I still need to tidy up in here and actually give it some life. Um, but yeah, just at the moment, got a chest up there. We have uh, quite a lot of pumpkins, actually. I was saying that it was a long time doing stuff, so I'm not surprised. Uh, yes, so that combined with the the eggs we got downstairs, we should be able to eat pumpkin pie for the rest of our lives if we want to. Uh, so here we've got pumpkin and chicken to eat, which is very autumnous. Autumnal? Autumnus. Optimus. Um, yeah. Free food, which is uh, one thing I did struggle about. You're new. You are new. Because you can't fit through here, can you? You can't jump over that wall, mate. Uh, Vanessa's upstairs. Um, that guy's that guy's broken as hell. Has pe you been fighting people or you just been walking into walls? No idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it going to be. That is it. That is going to be it for this episode. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I've enjoyed making it. It's been a lot of fun, especially trying something new with the custom trees. Um, so yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.